everyone welcome back to my channel I'm still wearing rock me because I am going to create a beautiful Valentine's updo with this style and I just want to shout out Tia Maria from Instagram and YouTube she is also using one of the statements collection um, wigs from the wig company and creating a beautiful up style or creative style for Valentine's as well so I will have her links down below so you can find her Instagram her um, YouTube check out her special style too all right so I'm gonna take this beauty off set up my block head and the stand put it right here so you guys can see what I'm doing um, sometimes I will style the wig on my head um, it's really easy and fun to put in clips headbands and do it while you're wearing the style but I'm going to be doing um, a little bit more of a detailed style so if you guys have a block head um, a mannequin head something that you can use when you want to uh, style your human hair wigs or creative style your synthetic wigs it's really nice to have something that you can plop that wig on and be able to maneuver it and style that wig so that's what I'm going to be doing right now uh, take a look follow along if you have any questions about what I'm doing um, just let me know all right here we go okay so first I put the wig on the block head and then I'm taking some of the hair from the front perimeter of the wig because I need some of that hair to flow softly to cover up those edges. Then I take a section and twist it back towards the center. Then I take a few sections and pull to uh, spread out and fluff that twist. Pin it in with a bobby pin and do the same thing on the other side, leaving uh, some of that hair around the perimeter of the edge of that wig um, available to use later. So I pull, then fluff, then bobby pin in place. If there is a synthetic um, product that you like to use on your wigs and pieces, you can use that to keep the hairs in place. Um, I like to go around and fluff up the crown area of the head and now I am proceeding with using that same technique that I used at the beginning and twisting, fluffing, and pinning right in the center and then I'm going to do it again on the other side. Now I'm going to take a chunk of hair right in the middle and I will take a tiny little elastic, tie it around like a little pony and spin the hair underneath. What is that called? Um, a topsy tail? Uh, I can't even remember. Then I will do it again on the lower area of that same ponytail. That just makes another sort of twisty look in the hair. If you scrunch it up, it's just really pretty and a different way to um, maneuver the hair and make it look really glamorous. I'm fluffing and turning in some of those ends and pinning them into place. Now I'm going to take the remaining section down by the nape, twisting both pieces and loosely tying those two pieces in a knot, then pinning that knot into place. I'll use those remaining ends, fluff and turn every which way and pin in place. There's not a rhyme or reason to this like I stated earlier um, just fluff pin twirl curl <laughs> and uh, fluff it out to make it look somewhat symmetrical and even and just go for it 
Now this part can get a little tricky because you do want to use the hair that you left out to your advantage to help softly cover the edge of your wig. So loosely, softly let that hair flow back, pin it in place. You can leave some hair down. Um, I think it's really glamorous to have a few little ten tendrils, if that's what it's called. <laughs> and um, just play with it. You can rearrange this hair once you get it on your head as well. Here's a, a tip for you guys. Um, there are bobby pins that are lighter colored. So if you're working with a blonde wig, um, it's more ideal to use bobby pins that are lighter. They will be less likely to stand out. Okay, everyone, so she is done. She's a cute little pink Valentine's bow. I wanted to go find something fun like at Claire's, something um, I don't know, with hearts, uh, that was very, um, valentines -y, but I never got around to it. Anyway, this is the finished product. I'm going to go ahead and put it on and see how it transfers to my head. All right, well, she's on. What do you guys think about this beautiful style on the Rock Me wig from the wig company by the Statements Collection? Um, let me know what you thought. If you think this is on the difficult scale, just know that styles like this, there's no rhyme or reason. You just get yourself some bobby pins, a wide tooth comb, some hairspray. This is hair you wear and um, go for it. It's really fun to have accessories and just fun things to style with it. Um, bobby pins are the main thing though, and uh, the nice part is, is with a wefted wig, the, um, the wefts actually give your bobby pins something to anchor to. So um, if you have a fully hand-tied wig, uh, be mindful of those hand-tied areas when you're using bobby pins because you don't want to puncture or damage those delicate base materials. But um, I think I really love a wig with a, a lace front, a parting, or a mono top, and wefting because it really helps anchor the style in using the bobby pins. Um, just a little tidbit of information based on my experience, and it's kind of just nice to have something to anchor to. Um, anyway, I hope that helps. If this is something that you want to see more of, let me know. Comment below. Be sure to check out Tia Maria's style on her YouTube and her Instagram. I'll have those links down below. And uh, go follow the wig company. Check out their statement collection. They have such wonderful styles at great prices. All right. Happy Valentine's Day from me. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. 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 Yeah.